Once I travel somewhere, I want to take pictures and shoot videos, but I don't want to bring my bulky camera all the time. Well, it's great that you can shoot some amazing 4K footage with smartphones nowadays, but usually the videos come out shaky and wobbly even though most of the flagship phones have optical image stabilization. I've been using the Xiyun Tech Smooth 2 smartphone gimbal for a long time and now the company has released a more affordable yet even better equipped Smooth Q gimbal. My name is Linus, here's my full review. This gimbal costs just below 140 bucks and I believe this is one of the best options you can get for the price. All the links will be down below in the video description. What I love about the Smooth Q is that it comes in a really nice carrying case, so you don't need to buy it separately. After using the Xiyun Tech Smooth 2 for a long time, I can tell you that having a case is really important if you want to take care of your gimbal. You also get a charging cable, some paperwork and a strap for carrying case. The Smooth Q is made of plastic with some metal parts. Obviously, the gimbal does not feel as expensive as the Smooth 2, but it does not feel cheap either. The device is quite thick but it sits comfortably in the hand. If you want to start using it, all you have to do is just to slide your phone in, make sure it sits nice and tight, press the power button for a few seconds and you're good to go. It's worth mentioning that the Smooth Q has a built-in counterweight system, meaning that you don't need to use any counterweights like on some other gimbals. There is an extendable axis to balance the gimbal by just one step. You can also use the gimbal with action cameras if you use it with the action camera plate. I have purchased one for about 15 bucks and it works great with my Yi 4K action camera, even though this plate is designed specifically for GoPros. The plate is made entirely of metal, it is very sturdy and it holds the camera very well. The gimbal holds the phone in landscape mode, which is the mode I use most of the time. If you want to use the phone vertically, for example for some live streaming services, you simply need to unscrew the screw holding the phone cradle to change the position. That is a huge upgrade over some other gimbals like the Smooth 2 since you don't need to buy any extra accessories. There are a few control buttons on the gimbal that are clicky and tactile. The mode button allows you to switch from one mode to another. The default mode is called the pan following mode and I use it most of the time. If you press the mode button once, the gimbal will enter the locking mode which is great for the smooth pan and tilt shots if you want to film a particular object. If you press the mode button twice, you will enter the pan and pitch following mode where the gimbal moves towards the direction you point the camera to. This mode works pretty well too, even if you move the gimbal quickly you will get a smooth shot since all the axes move slowly. The last mode is the selfie mode and it is triggered by pressing the mode button three times. This is actually a secret mode that is not mentioned in instruction manual but hey, it works great too. You can also take a full manual control using the joystick to get the shot you want. You can use the gimbal either with your stock camera app or with a Xiyun camera app that connects the phone to the gimbal via the Bluetooth and allows you to take your full control using the buttons. You can take pictures or shoot videos with the shutter button, zoom in or zoom out if you press the multifunctional key gradually, change from photo and video modes or switch from the main to the front firing camera. I have to tell you that the footage looks just stunning. I was simply walking normally and I didn't try to hold my hands steadily at all but the footage still looks very smooth. Here is the quick comparison how the 4K video from my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge looks with gimbal and without gimbal while I'm climbing up and down the stairs. Well, the difference is pretty obvious in my opinion. The gimbal started wobbling a little bit under very strong wind but these are the most extreme conditions and I think each gimbal will behave similarly. What I love is that the phone stays firmly in the gimbal no matter how hard you move it so you won't end up breaking it. Also the smooth cue is very silent since it uses brushless motors. 
The quarter inch screw mount allows you to attach the gimbal to all sorts of accessories, for example, like tripods. What I love about the Smooth Q is that it can stay vertically without any tripods. Some users may not be happy, but the Smooth Q has a built in battery, whereas some older gimbals like the Smooth 2 has a replaceable power pack. On the other hand, Xiyun crammed a huge battery that not only allows you to use the gimbal for up to 12 hours, but you can also charge the phone via the USB port while you're using the gimbal at the same time. One of my favorite features is that you can charge the battery via the micro USB port on the gimbal, so you don't need any proprietary chargers. In fact, you can charge it and use the gimbal at the same time. Charging from 0% to 100% takes about 3 hours. The Xiyun Tech Smooth Q definitely exceeded my expectations. I've tested some more expensive gimbals, but this one seems to be working just as well, but it does not even cost 140 bucks. I love that you get everything you need to get started in one package. The gimbal has a fantastic battery life, a built-in counterweight system works fine, and the ability to charge your phone is one of my favorite features. So far, the Smooth Q has been working absolutely fine, and I can tell you that this is one of the best options you can get for the price. It was Linus, thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you want to get all the latest updates, please follow TechLineHD on social media, like on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. See you soon.